So today is the farm famous semi-annual goat extravaganza sale. It's a weed eater sale. Oh yeah, we're selling weed eaters. <laughs> Don't tell Facebook. Making Grant's favorite breakfast, some apple cinnamon oatmeal. All I did was soften some apples in some butter with a little regular sugar and some brown sugar. Then I added in my oats, some cinnamon, a dash of nutmeg, and some vanilla. All right, oatmeal's done, mostly done. I'm gonna throw just a little splash of cream in there, put it in bowls, and throw some blueberries on top, and we have breakfast. Jeff thinks you need to see our squeak toy over here. He's awfully squeaky. You playing with your, your little green guy? Hmm? He's almost a year old. We took him to Walmart when he was probably three months old, maybe four months old. And we let him pick out this toy. And by let him pick out, I mean I literally let him sniff and lick every toy in the store. And that was the one that he picked. And he still plays with it every single day. So I guess he picked a good toy. Morning, buddy. Breakfast time. Okay. I made your favorite breakfast. Somebody's sleepy still. All right, Lara, so you're so excited. I am so excited. Would you ever have imagined as a young girl that you would be excited about what you're about to unbox? Uh, no, I never, well, number one, I never thought in a billion years that this would be something I would purchase, <laughs> let alone like giddy excited when he came in the door with it. So I'm gonna open it up and I figure I'd let you guys watch what it is. Thankfully, it's taped really well. So hopefully it's still breathing. I'm just kidding, just kidding. There's nothing alive in here. Oh, what a mess. I got lots of packing peanuts. Ta-da! It is insanely heavy. Oh, oh yeah, poor. What could it be? Well, here's the top part. It's upside down. I know, that was part <laughs> of the fun. That was the suspense. Yeah. Silly human. Ah, packing peanuts. More, peanuts. More packing peanuts. But you know what? I applaud the person who shipped this to us because it is packaged very, very well yeah. and obviously did not fit in any box that they had, so they yeah. cut their own and made, made it made work. <laughs> and it is full of peanuts as well. Sweet. All right, any guesses? Not that I can hear you, but comment and tell us if you guessed it right. It's not quite a mason jar, although it is the size of my head, and I'm very happy about it. All right, here we go. Yeah. It's not a lamp or a pendant light, although that would make a really cool, get that off your face, <laughs> That would make a really cool pendant light. Any guesses? Now does anybody know what it is? Yeah, let that us know. That is so heavy. Holy let us know if you guessed it right, and if yep. you didn't, fly.
<laughs> just, no, don't lie. <laughs> just kidding. Gosh. Oh. See what I'm working with here? Is the paddle here? All right. This is. What year did they say this was? Like 1950? I have no idea. I want to say it was the 1950s. But this is a Farm Master Butter Churn by Sears and Roebuck. It is an electric butter churn and it is going to make my life significantly easier. Making butter has proven to be a little more trouble than it's worth. That's not true. Butter's worth pretty much its weight in gold. Butter worth, really? Yes, Butterworth. However, I am so looking forward to being able to make this amount of butter at once instead of a half gallon. Ready? Yep. She works. Yay, 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 yay. All right, so we poured in I have no idea how much cream this is, but it says fill to here, so we filled to there. Uh, we're going to plug in our ancient, I mean antique, electric churn and uh, see if it works. I mean, we know the motor works, but we really don't know uh, the ins and outs of it, if it's balanced or if it needs to be. It looks different than, there's no paddle. Uh, it's just a cylinder on the inside, but uh, that's the way it comes. So. We'll see. Plug it in, see if it I works. did ask in my homesteading group if anybody has this particular butter churn and if they have any experience with it. If you had one of these as a kid or you know somebody that did or you personally have one, please comment and let us know. We would love to know somebody else that has one. So if, we'll, if we ever have trouble, we could troubleshoot it <clears throat> or get advice or whatever the case may be, yep. we're new to antique butter jars. Mm -hmm. So find us on Facebook or Instagram so we can actually communicate back and forth. Yes, please. Um, we would appreciate it. You want to plug it in? Yes. Plug it in. <laughs> we might have to balance it. Yeah, I'm thinking it needs to be balanced. Yeah, probably. Okay, so 45 seconds in. If you have any idea what this is that we're working with, please reach out to us because we don't know what we're doing and it's kind of entertaining. It's a dancing butter shirt. It looks like it's working though, so we'll see. And it's much uh, quieter than the ninja. Oh, it is. It's not bouncing anymore though and your lid's not shaking off. All right, it's been 10 minutes. It's looking like creamier, like whipped creamy type. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at it. Motor's a little warm. Hold that glass. Oh yeah, yeah. it's whipped cream for see. sure. It's getting good? Yeah, we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. We'll run it for another 10 minutes and... We should have butter. Yeah, should have butter. I think before we run another batch, we're gonna try to balance out the paddle. We'll keep you updated. So today is the farm famous semi-annual goat extravaganza sale. It's a weed eater sale. Oh yeah, we're selling weed eaters. <laughs> Don't tell Facebook. Four-legged pregnant milking weed eaters. Um, we have our... Grab Miss Heidi. Where'd she go? There she is. Heidi May. We have our uh, new farm friend in tow. She's gonna slow us down, I mean, help us with the chores. <clears throat> we are uh, going to hustle and get everything done so that we can display all of our weed eaters as our customers show up at 11 o'clock this morning now don't fret 
If you missed this weed eater sale, which if you're watching this video and you weren't here, that means you missed it, we will do it again. Oh this, yes, we will. This is kind of what we do here is uh, raise goats, sell goats, buy goats. We just happen to currently have maybe 20 more than I would prefer. <clears throat> Yeah, we're, we're pushing the 45 mark, so... We have 47. Oh, <laughs> I guess that would be pushing the 45 mark, May -may. so... All right, so we're going to hustle. We're going to set you down. Sorry you, you, you get to miss us doing chores this morning, but you do get to look at Here's this a cute puppy, though. beautiful little puppy. We'll, uh, we'll let you look at her for a while, and this pretty lady. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll definitely get you some footage of uh, the goat sale, and if anybody wants to talk to you, we'll give them that opportunity as well. Yeah. People are camera shy, so don't count on it. You always walk so close to me. I'm afraid I'm going to hurt you. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. A girl and her dog. Yep. Don't tell Linus. All right, so I know the reality of the sadness that comes with uh, departing characters on this farm and on this show, but uh, this is what we do. We are, we are goat farmers. We, we raise goats, we buy them, and we sell them. So some of these ladies are gonna find new homes. Wow, Big Mama looks so skinny. And the beautiful thing is, for them, many other folks that buy these goats have Acres of yeah, pasture. lush pasture and grass for these guys to eat. So, um, oh. as much as I hate to admit it, some of these are going to a better environment than we can provide for them. We so. might be having babies today. Yeah, She's Grandma Waddle. Yeah, she, she is has, long and stringy. Yeah, she has some discharge. And how cool would that be? Yeah. Have a goat sale and have goat babies. Yep. Thanks, Grandma Waddles. All right, back to work. Commence Operation Orange Dog. No more white puppy. She's gonna be bright orange by the time we get upstairs. Silly girl. Come on, little mama. Bonk. Despite the beautiful weather, only a few people showed up and only a few goats sold. But we made enough to feed our animals for at least another month. And I've got a vicious livestock guardian dog hiding. She got headbutted a couple of times and she's a little nervous, but she does like playing with the babies. Happy girls. I got them some green stuff to eat, keep them occupied. So they're not trying to push over the electric fence that is not electrified. 